get a cup of coffee. But, you know, having that routine is critical um, and making sure you get up, you brush your teeth, you get ready for it and you actually dive into your work and sit there and focus. It's critical. And I think a lot of our team actually uses a lot of different tools to help all of us stay on task. So we're going to dive into a couple things um, to show you kind of what we do and how we do things, um, not just internally, but we've actually shared some of these tools with our coming soon homes marketing clients as well. Oh yeah. All right. You're back with me. <laughs> All right. Some tips here. I have three pieces of software that I want to talk to you guys about. I have videos on all three of them. So I can save my voice. My allergies have been kind of, kind of rocky. So bear with me. Uh, the first one I want to talk about, let's start with Glip. So Glip is, you guys remember AOL? Oh, Everybody yeah. remember AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo yeah, yeah. Messenger? It's basically the new version of that, but you know, actually good. So I'm gonna show you guys a little video that I shot about what Glip is, and uh, that'll explain it better than I can ramble off right here. So let me get that started for you. All right, everybody. So here's a very brief introduction on how to set up your Glip account. So to get to this point, all you have to do is go to app.glip.com or just glip.com and uh, sign up for an account. You can either type in your email address or sign up with Google or Facebook. I have chosen to sign up with one of my Google accounts. So once you do that and hit allow access, you'll be at this screen. So let's go and get started. So here is your basic workspace for Glip. Uh, you can do as it says here, you can start a chat, which is basically an instant messaging uh, service on here. You can send direct messages to individual people. You can create teams of multiple people. And there's also more actions that you can take, which we'll go over in a second. So very basic, you can type a message and send it to a person. It is an instant messenger. Think AOL, think iMessage, think WhatsApp. That's, you know, pretty simple. But there's so much more to it than just messaging. So down here, you'll see we have messages, contacts, tasks, calendar, and more actions. So if we go to contacts, this is everyone that you have in your Glip that you have added, people that you can talk with, people that you can add to groups, coworkers, guests, everything. Under tasks, this is a very basic task manager. If you use something like Google Keep or Asana, you're gonna feel right at home here. You create a new task. So uh, finish editing video, enter. You can assign it to a certain person. You can put when it is due and you can say which section the task is in. Once you finish it, you just click to mark complete and it's done and it disappears. You can look at all your tasks. You can look at uh, tasks assigned to you, posted by you, pending tasks, complete tasks, everything. So it's very simple. You put the task you want in there, you complete it, it's done, you can assign tasks. They even have a little tutorial video right here if you need a little bit more information there, but it is pretty simple and I think most people will get it. Moving on here is the calendar. Any tasks that you put on here will go on your calendar. You can even integrate this with your Outlook, iCloud, or Gmail calendar right here. There you go. There's your little calendar sync link right there. So Glip is something that I use to communicate with everyone in my office, but also with my clients. It's a, it is honestly the fastest way to get in touch with people because, I mean, it's an instant messenger. It's instant. But the coolest thing about Glip is not only can you send messages, you can share files. So similar to like we did with Google Drive, if I wanted to share a file with someone, but they're on Glip, just click whichever file you want to share, hit open, it'll upload it, and boom, sent to that person. You can like the file, you can bookmark the file, you can pin the file, or you can delete it, move it to a different folder, save it. Uh, now, sharing files, you can either do that individually with a direct message to another person, or you can share it within a team. So when you create teams, uh, it's just as simple as being like a group chat. It just has everybody all there together. You can invite, I think, as many people as you want. I don't think there's, I'm sure there is a limit to the amount of people, but you know, most smaller medium sized offices will have plenty of slots open. You can share the link to have them come via an email or text or instant message. You can invite from your Gmail contacts or from your Office 365 contacts with Outlook. Uh, the cool thing about a team is you have all the same options. You have team tasks. You can integrate apps into your team, such as Asana, the task manager. 
Uh, different other things in here, GitHub, you can put in Jira and MailChimp, uh, really anything. And the coolest thing about Glip is you can use it for a variety of things. It doesn't have to be real estate. If you just want to talk with your family through Glip, you know, go right ahead. Uh, but you can share files to groups as well. So it's really good if you are, for example, right now, a lot of us are working from home. And if we need approval for something or if we want to bounce ideas off of someone rather than do the Google Drive, share this, share that, you know, that works great for people who you're emailing something to or someone who you're not communicating with on a daily basis. But Glip, man, it's really fast to just be able to share that file, put it in there, open it, upload it, boom, there it is. So there's, again, like with my other video, there's a lot more to Glip. Uh, you even have the option for video chats. You have the option for audio. Uh, you can color code people. There's a mobile app. There's so much that you can do with Glip. But that is just a little basic introduction to get you started. I am a Glip addict. Addict. <laughs> Wow. Glip is such a cool tool. That was so an cool. unbelievable video, Tyler. You deserve an Oscar for that one. That was so <laughs> good. Wow. Pat on the back. I'm, I'm crazy, blown away. Guys, because Glip is so simple and it's free. It's actually a tool provided by a phone company. So if you guys are looking for a company to uh, deal with all your phone management situations, uh, Ring Central is a great option. But Ring Central built Glip is kind of like a free platform just to get people interested in it and it's great so just like Tyler said it's very similar to slack but like while we were planning this webinar I had Tyler and Riley and I that all needed to communicate in time at the same time about one thing and let me tell you how annoying and hectic that can be through email and text yeah. message I mean it gets crazy and so when I can just pop on blip start a team with Tyler Riley and I and we just bounce back and forth and send people stuff and go crazy it is so much more effective to do it that way especially if you're a team leader, you got other people underneath you to communicate with. This is a fabulous, fabulous thing to implement. We've implemented this in a couple of our own coming soon homes marketing clients. Um, and it's done wonders for us. And it sounds simple that like Tyler said, we actually can get in touch with them sometimes faster that way. I see a it's little free. It's and free. It's, free. it's completely on. free. It's free. And, and they have a I phone app. They have an iPhone app. That's literally what I was about to say. So I am now out of Florida. I relocated. And so it's great that if I'm out or whatever, I can message my team, just like with Riley showing you instantaneously, wherever I am, um, I can upload a quick picture. So if you're an agent and you have maybe someone in marketing, a really good thing to do is while you're the agent out of the property, take a picture of the, the property, upload it into your Glip feed to your marketing person. Boom, we're on it. That is how fast we can get to things. So implement technology, the right technology that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. And I think Glyph is one of them.